Hello, my Aries, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Of course, I'm Debbie, and this is for March 17th through the 23rd. So let me be the first to wish you a happy birthday. Your season is coming the, the night of the 19th and the 20th, okay? So your season starts, the equinox is happening, all of this, uh, things are changing. Um, I still get a lot of rules, rules, rules for you. But my Aries, this is for you to stand strong, stand tall, and just keep moving, keep moving, keep your face forward. Now remember, these are um, general readings, may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay, my Aries, again, I get that there's a lot of structure, there's a lot of like very, this has to happen to this, ha this, this, this. Um, but again, um, and I'm not saying that you're going to be fighting them, but you have to stand strong and stand uh, stand firm in your integrity. Okay, how's that? Okay, let's see what else we might have here. Again, your birthday season. A lot of people believe that this is actually, you know, like they believe that April 1st was actually the start of the new year way back when. So let's see what we've got going on for my Aries, higher power, Holy Spirit. What else do you want to say to Aries? Oh, they're, they're breaking, you know, you're, it's like you're pushing down the house of cards, my Aries. Um, you know, finding the weak spot and working towards that, whatever that is. <laughs> find the weak, finding, I'm not going to say find the weak spot. It's like you're finding the weak spot and you're, um, you're going after that. You're going after that. Here we go. One, two, and three. Three cards face down. The first one is reverse, so it has a little more oomph to it. Let's see what we've got. First card is Queen of Earth. Well, I love the Queen of Earth because she takes care of herself. She takes care of business. So the Queen's underlying under energy is water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We're going from Pisces into Aries, so we still have some of that water energy going on. So this is fluid, emotional, very, uh, very um, spiritual. We also have a very thin veil right now. But the overlying energy is Earth, and that is our Taurus, our Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus is the one with Uranus, and it is with um, with Jupiter in it, too. Uranus is expect the unexpected. Jupiter is all about good fortune and wanting to provide. So the Queen of Earth is someone that, that you know, someone that stands up for herself. She takes care of her business, and that you can be male or female takes care of business, but make sure she is taking care of herself first because she knows, you know, it's like that old, it's not, it's like what the flight attendants tell you on the plane, you know, in the event of an emergency and should the oxygen mask drop, please put it on yourself first so you can then take care of others. Okay. And it's, so it's not being selfish. It's not being, um, it's not being mean or anything like that. But you need to make sure that your mortgage is paid or your rent is paid before you lend to others. You want to make sure that, you know, there is food in, on your table for the people that you have to provide for before you give to others. I'm not saying that charity isn't needed or that you should not um, work, you know, not have charity in your heart. But many people um, tend to give, you know, tend to give to others and then they're in, they're wanting, okay? And the Queen of Earth has a wonderful reminder to, you know, when you can take care of yourself and you make sure that your bills are paid and things, you are in a stronger position to take care of others. Wow, I don't know who needed that, but uh, hopefully, the well, I know the message will get delivered. Thoughtful, creative, warm, and sensible. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Next card here, Renewal. So we have a major arcana. This is also known as the Judgment card. So we have a 20. A 2 is Crossroads Choices Decision Partnering. 0 is God Source Energy. This is, this is kind of a crossroad energy here. Renewal is looking at your life, looking at what you've done you know, that you like, what, and also facing the stuff that you go, oh, that's rather cringy. I don't want to really even look at that. But it's looking at your life honestly. It's looking at who you are honestly. 
and coming and then actually coming to a point where you can forgive the others and you can forgive yourself for making whatever decisions that you made at that time. So basically it is a time of review, but it's also a time of contemplation. It's a time, and it'll say review and evaluate. It's a time to get your bearings. It's a time for you to really figure out what it is, where what it is you stand for and where it is you want to go. And then once you get that going, you are able to go and move in that new that new direction. So review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. So, so those, you know, those points that you go, no, I really don't want to remember, you know, me, you know, I don't want to remember that party. I don't want to remember, you know, maybe when I had a few more drinks than I should have. I don't want to remember those things, but you look at them. You look at them, you look and you listen and you learn, okay? And you can accept that that is who, that is what has made you who you are. Time to move in a new direction. And I love that because it's like, yeah, let's, let's figure this out. What have you learned? What have you, you know, where are you at? And now it's time. Now it's, it's a very, um, it's a wonderful jumping off point. Next card is the Queen of Air. So now we have the Queen of Air. Underlying energy, again, our water. Air energy is our Aquarius, our Gemini, and our Libra. Now, Libra is in the South Node. That's all about making sense of the past, trying to create some balance out of that past. But we have, um, when, when, if I believe it was on maybe the 20th, um, when Aries season begins, uh, what was it? Pluto. Pluto is in the first degree in Aquarius, and then Aries is uh, the sun is in the first degree in Aries. So there's a new beginning, new start, manifesting type of energy going on. Um, changing Pluto is going to change a lot of the ideas, a lot of the way you were thinking about things. I'm not saying that this is totally hanged man, though it can be. But this is real, there is really an explosion of ideas, an explosion of what the reality is around you. Again, I told you, you gotta, there are a bunch of rules, but you got to stand firm and be very firm in your integrity. So the queen of air is very objective. She's kind, she's nice, but she, she, she knows what she needs. She knows what she needs. So it's very, she's a very good partner with that queen of earth. She's independent, experienced, realistic, and witty objective decision-making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, seeing the humor in a situation. So very, no, we're done. Now I've looked at all of this. I don't need this anymore. I've forgiven myself. I've forgiven others. It's almost like starting anew. Okay. Now let's go on here. It's really, it's being refocused. It, there, it's like a, it's a time for refocusing. And refocusing on a path, refocusing on maybe what you've been wanting, uh, refocusing on what to leave behind, what to, you know, it is a very true, it's very true to that, um, you know, to that New Year's, you know, when we make our New Year's resolution. So here we go. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What else is there for our Aries? What else do we have for our Aries? Our Aries, our Aries. What do we have for Aries? Oh, okay. So this is, okay, this is our five. I, I'm not quite sure. Is that our five? That looks like it's our five of fire. So our five of fire. Fire is your energy. It's also Leo Sagittarius energy, passionate, burning, very determined. Five has some changes. Change, change, change. Could be good, could be bad, could yes, but change is change. Change is stressful obstacles and challenges. This is basically, you know, just kind of like, like I said, you know, you got to take care of yourself. You got to look at what's going on here. You've got to be very objective in this path. There's always going to be object, uh, you know, obstacles and challenges. I told you rules, 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 and you, you still have to be very firm and you have to be very, like very strong in your integrity. Now, the thing about the five of fire, when we're in a different deck, maybe in this deck, the five of fire is, do I cross over in this? Do I engage or do I back away? You know, these are choices that we have. Now, one of the things that you can back away from is the drama of others, my Aries. So you can, you can either decide to dive in and engage. Um, you are never going to change. You know, if, if, 
if they've gotten to this point where they're at, you're never going to be able to change someone's uh, mind per se. A lot of people do not like to admit that there is another way of looking at something. So, but it's all your choice. It's your choice. Do you engage or do you just kind of now say, you know what? You be you, you do you, and I'm going to just kind of go over there. All right. So let's see. Higher power. We're going to go with our angels of abundance. Let's see. So it's, it, it's not necessarily an easy week for a lot of people here, but you will have the moral um, authority to keep moving forward. Okay, you have the moral authority right now. Okay, my Aries, let's see. What else is there? Our angels of abundance. What do you have here? Here we go. Okay, oops. This one is reversed. This is very, very important. Attracting, not chasing. You know, we have puppies. If they get out of the house and we start chasing after them, you know what they do? They run away. But if we go back and, you know, kind of maybe get it, well, we don't want to give them a treat, but maybe we do. Um, but if we go back and call for them or act like we're leaving them, they come running back to us. So attracting, not chasing. Anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlying chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy. It's not as hard as it sounds. It really isn't. All right, let's go on with, with our crystal or energies that would be good for our Aries. So we have 205502. Interesting, 205. Here we go. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What else is there for our Aries? Aries. Reversed again. Moonstone. Okay. Female fertility. Calming emotions. Attracting new love. Also growth. Our, our dream oracle. Let me see what we might have here for you. So moonstone, actually moonstone is a really wonderful um, stone, especially since, what did I say, the 25th, I think it was. There is the full moon in Libra. And I didn't even mention that the full moon will actually have a lunar eclipse. We have started eclipse season. Okay, let's see what we might have here. Higher power, Holy Spirit. Well, one last message for my Aries. One last message for my Aries. So again, it's not it's not necessarily a... Um, it, it's, it doesn't feel like it's a very easy week for some of, my, some of our um, signs, but... My Aries, like I said, you've got the moral high ground with this. You have to stand true to you. Okay, this is reversed. Transition, transition. Now, transition is a lot of times that's on the death card and or it, you know, especially with the John Holland transition. It's a very beautiful card in many ways where it's taking off the old and coming into the new. It's metamorphous type of energy to also. So, and this is your season, your season, your year. Release attachments to what, to what was and prepare for what is to come. I like that one. Time to transition, my Aries? Let me know. Okay, did that make sense? You let me know again about that too. Okay, do me my favor now. Like, share, subscribe, clicking on the bell for notifications. You help me. You help me so much, my Aries, by doing that. As always, though, my Aries. Oh, if you're watching me on Rumble, Rumble me. Always, my Aries, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.